have self-control. Right. Yeah, right. definitely. You know, I want to talk about what you referred to earlier, a part where you felt as if you were dying. Yeah. Or you, can you, what, what was happening? Well, I'd had my first daughter, right. and it was a wonderful time, everything. I had a very um, smooth pregnancy. I moved to the States, you know, to mm. just, you know, have better care and all, all of that stuff. And I just, after I'd had her, I had some slight complications after mm. the birth. Mm. And so it, I was in a bit of a sad state. And I kind of just slipped into postnatal depression. Um, mm. And I didn't even realize it when mm. it started happening. Mm. But for, I was talking to an older friend of mine. Um, and it's good to have other, you know, it's good to have friends that are not just your age mates. Mm, mm, so, mm. in fact, it's funny, is the lady who um, who uh, made this outfit, actually. I called her and I was like, you know, I've been feeling this type of way and this and that. And she says, do you feel like this? Do you feel like this? Do you feel like this? I was like, hmm, Dakar, I think you have postnatal depression. And I was like, huh? So I went to the hospital and I discussed it with my OBGYN and she says, oh yeah, these symptoms are, you know. Consistent. And so from, from there, I was like, wow, so this can happen to me? Like, but this is the happiest time of my life. Like, I just had my baby, this and that and that. But I couldn't help feeling like something was wrong, you mm. know? Um, I became very OCD. Mm. Um, I always want to clean everywhere, make sure everything is like, Perfect. you know, and then if I've washed dishes and somebody put a dirty dish in the sink, I would right. lose my temper. Like, it was just very strange. Mm. And so over time, I started to realize that I wasn't using my creativity, so mm. it was just kind of dying inside. Ah. And this was like after four years of being away from work. Right. So I just had this sadness, this consistent, mm. persistent sadness, like a lack of joy. Mm. Like mm. I would be struggling mm. to, mm. to reach the joy, right. you know? Right. I would have, then sometimes I'd be very manic, like very happy, and then very sad, you know? <sighs> So after a while, I started, you know, going to therapy right. and then I realized and they said, well, what, what did you do before mm -hmm. you became like, because I was kind of like a housewife at that time. And I said, oh, you know, I'm an actor and I'm, you know, quite famous and that. She was, and the lady was like, you know what, you be, it's probably because you're not doing what you are used to doing. You've been yeah. doing this since you were a kid and yeah. now you've you suddenly stopped. stopped. New baby, new husband, those adjustments. Yeah. Um, and also because when you, when you have kids, when you're slightly older, um, you're set in your ways. You know, mm -hmm. and then here I am. I want to fly off somewhere. I want to go do something, but I'm stuck with this baby and mm -hmm. she's crying and mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. And mm -hmm. so it was all of those things. So I realized that, okay, I have to get back to myself. Self. I lost myself for a bit, you know, and it happens with women. You know, you get married, you lose your sense of identity. You used to know yourself as this thing, and now you're a wife and you're a mother. And then so there's that whole. Um, you're just in flux mm. kind of thing. Mm. Um, so I realized that, okay, you know what? I want to I wanna go back to work now, you know? Mm. And so my first movie role came, and that was Journey to Self. Ah. Imagine, Journey imagine, to no, Self. Look at poetry. <laughs> God is just yes, amazing. Yes, like, yes. Yeah, but I think it was also just the right time. It right. was the right time, right. and I came back with that. And, but it wasn't easy. I mean, I had to really prove mm -hmm. to everyone that I really wanted it, because people thought, oh, you had it. Like, I left... Like, yes, I, nah. I was at, like, the top of my game. Yes, now nah. you left it. And I left and it. And also, you didn't leave just... it and just disappear. You left it to what people, the kind of life people were aspiring to. Yeah. So they yeah, would that. marriage and, yes. yeah. Like... And, you know, that's even, that's even very unfair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A woman gets married, it, it, should, it should be the beginning of, of, this, of new... this new life. Yes. Don't, you just totally erase, almost, almost wanted to erase me. Yeah. Like, oh, she's gotten married. She's, she, what could she possibly want, want to work for? Yes, yes. Because yes. uh, I have a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand. Yes. So I think that's also um, cultural and societal. Yes. Yes. The expectation that a woman gets married and all and of a yes. sudden yes. her identity should be, you know, or yes. just be a Mrs. Someone, yes. no longer who she is. Yes. Um, but yes. I'm very happy to say that, uh, no, that's not that's happening. That's not yet. happening. No. Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. I know, I hope um, you loved that video and you connected with it don't forget please subscribe please like please share with your friends and family please comment we love to see your comments and to see the full versions join our community right now or past episodes on watch.withtoday.com
Let's be human together.